My husband is, um, well, he's required to speak publicly. I have a shame. <laughs> Perhaps he should change jobs. And what of my husband with a king? My husband has seen everyone. Insert them into your mouth. Oh, what an enunciate. He hasn't seen me. I can't cure your husband, but I need total trust. What was your earliest memory? I'm not here to discuss personal matters. Well, why are you here then? Because I bloody well stammer! But do you know any jokes? Timing isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Your methods are unorthodox and controversial. No, 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 no. Up comes your royal highness. It's actually quite good fun. Yes. Oh. Art thou afeard? It's your peculiar. I take that as a compliment. War with Germany will come. And we will need a king whom we can all stand behind. He's afraid of his own shadow. The nation believes that when I... I speak, I speak for them. But I can't speak. You could do it. You needn't be governed by fear. It would be like mad King George the Stammer. Get up, you can't sit there. Get up! Why not? It's a chair. That, that is St. Edward's chair. People have that, carved their names. Listen to me! Chair. Listen to me! Why should I waste my time listening to you? Because I have a voice! Yes, you do. Your greatest test is yet to come. What's he say? I don't know, but he seems to be saying it rather well. Your first wartime speech. Broadcast to the nation and the world. This great time of crisis. However this turns out, I don't know how to thank you. Bertie, you're the bravest man I know. I intend to be a very good queen. To a very great king. Forget everything else and just say it to me.